Hi everybody, Wendy here from Lolly Dolly Crafts and today um, I'm continuing the wedding theme we've got over at um, Just Add Glue, ribbons, roses and lace and the little um, flower girl basket that I did and so I'm going to um, alter this little bonnet now. I got this bonnet for about 80 pence from my local supermarket. It's a, obviously one of their Easter lines and they're just selling them off cheap. So I'm going to, um, I mean it's very pretty, but I want to, um, you know, make it uh, um, more wedding-y, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to take all this off, which is not glued, it's actually, oh that bit's glued. So I'll take that off, I'm poking myself in the eye. Take that off, and uh, yeah, that's glued as well. So, so, oh, it's running away with itself. Let's cut it. well, this doesn't really matter because it's going to be covered up anyway. Look, a bit chunky bit of glue there. So just going to cut this off. Now, these flowers have been sewn on, so um, oh no, they haven't. They're glued as well. Here's me, so I can just pull those off. That's fine. They're very pretty, um, but. It's not what I want. Um, they had loads there, different ones, pink ones and whatever. So great. Um, it was a in the UK. It was a co-op supermarket. So um, yeah. All right. Okay. So oh, I don't want to cut that off because that's where the. Okay. So so here we've got our blank canvas. Um, as far as our. Um, little wedding um, bonnet, a little flower girl bonnet for a wedding. So I'm going to um, do this in white again. Um, if you were doing this for um, a, a wedding that you had a themed colour, um, you could do it white and then add, say, um, I don't know, whatever the colour you've got, it be, be purple, you could add, you know, an odd flower in it too. Uh, but I'm just going to do this in plain white. So, um, where's my, okay, so I've got some of this satin, satin, satin ribbon, I'm just going to roll of it, and I want to, before I do anything, I want to just sort of add it to here, around the, the rim, I mean at the moment it's a bit, sort of, the hat's a bit, um, squishy, I suppose I could do with stuffing it with something, just so I, um, can work on it, uh, what have I got? Look, oh, I could use some of this. Oh, squeaky chair, squeaky chair. That's it. Okay. I've got some of this. So I'm just going to stuff that in there for a minute just to help it hold it while I'm working on it. That's a bit better. Okay. As long as you don't accidentally glue it, I think that's the point. I have to be careful. Alright then, so. Um, I'm going to have this at the back because there is two, um, <coughs> excuse me, like a, um, you know, a, a string thing. So I just want to make sure that so that's one that side, one that side. And I'll do this on the back. So if I start there, I'm just going to edge this um, ribbon just to tidy up the edge. I could use a... Um, you can use a lighter as well, just to. But I'm just folding this edge up, just to tidy it up so it doesn't fray. Okay. And I promise, ladies, I really am trying to speak up. Some ladies don't have a problem, so I don't know whether it's your PCs or. But I, and even when I'm editing, I turn the volume up to the highest. <coughs> so. Yeah, anyway, I am trying my best, so I'm going to just add that to there. Okay, and I'm just going to, I'm not, I'm not going to glue it all the way around, um, as in run a line of glue, because I don't want, um, you know, the glue to show through, but I'm just going to put near the, sort of the edge here, every now and again, just a little dollop of glue just to hold the ribbon in place. Because um, I don't, like I said, I don't 
I want to uh, the glue to show through. Okay, so I'm just doing it randomly every now and again. And uh, this sort of stuff is brilliant. If you see anything like this, and you know you've got family who's planning a wedding, rather than going out and spending, you know, sort of hundreds of pounds or you know fifty pounds or whatever on getting something like this, just make it yourself. It's just like crazy, you know, what's um, being charged. I mean, obviously you're, you know, you have to pay for the. Um, and I know this is sort of sticking out a bit, but I'm going to. Um, Decor uh, it's going to be decorated anyway, so it's not going to notice so much. Um, yeah, so and not not only that, it's really fun to know that you know the little flower girls walking down the aisle in something that you've made, uh, and they're fun to make as well. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this here, and then I'm going to just sort the edge out as well. Just to fold it over without burning myself, which is probably impossible. <clears throat> I'm having terrible trouble um, uploading at the moment. I used to be able to um, like upload directly from my if I filmed something using my iPad directly, upload something uh, from my iPad to YouTube, even though. Um, it does say that you have a limit of 15 minutes, but because I've, my account's in good standing, um, I can upload longer than 15 minutes. But it's uh, it's really it's just playing up at the moment. And and then I was trying to copy the files from my iPad to my desktop to do it that way, and it wouldn't do that. It says it, there was no... Um, oh, I don't know, something to do with it. It wasn't linking or something. I don't know. Okay, so... We've got all ribbon on. Don't worry too much that that's uh, um, sort of sticking out a bit. Now I've got this doily I'm going to put on the top. Now, like I said, don't worry. I'm going to pull it down a bit, um, but I'm going to glue it hit to the centre first, just so we've got it in the right place. And then I'm just going to sort of pull it down a bit, just to sort of stretch it. And that will. And then I'm going to have a, a, a trim that will go to hide that gap from the ribbon. Okay, and then we'll work from there. So. Um, that's the middle of my hat, so I'm just going to stick that doily in the middle there. Um, ow! What was that? Oh, it's one of those plastic blooming there. Uh, there was a pin. Where is that? It's stuck into my finger. Oh, is it? Oh, it's on the hat. It's um, some of the wiring from the. Uh, oh gosh! Don't stab your little bridesmaid when you little flower girl. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. It's just um, on these, let me just show you, on these bits, like the sculpture bits there, I'm just going to pull them down each one and it will stretch because it's a you know, it's wool, crocheted wool, so it's basically, it will stretch. So I'm just going to pull each one down and then just glue it um, so it reaches the edge of where I've added the ribbon. Okay, like that. All right, and I'm just going to do each one individually. A bit of a uh, time consuming. Um, I might speed it up. I don't know. Depends on whether I want to listen to me waffling. I know some of you guys don't mind me waffling. Um, but yeah, I was trying to find some um, some like a more something more lacy to go to cover the top because I didn't want to leave it just like this. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll just add a toilet. Um, yeah. So, just don't be stretching this. Is it pulling it down? There we go. So, it's another lovely, well, it's actually a lovely day. It, is, it looks quite nice out there. Um, so, my new lawnmower, I've got a petrol lawnmower that just arrived this morning actually, really early, but was, well, about 8 o'clock it arrived, I was really shocked because we never get posts that early, never, not in the UK. My post comes at, uh, I'm lucky if I get it by half past two during the day, it doesn't, we used to, which, you know, time's gone by, as it were, we used to get two 
um, post deliveries a day. One in first class in the morning and second class possibly in the afternoon. Um, or, you know, for another first class post in the afternoon. Now we just get, we're, lu we're lucky if we get the one in the afternoon. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was so a bir someone's birthday reminder. That was. Hmm, that was a bit of a nice jingle, wasn't it? Um, yeah, so that was quite nice. So that was delivered. It's, 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 the box is huge and it weighs a ton, so I can't move it, so I'll have to wait until, because there's nobody here at the moment. <coughs> My voice is a bit croaky. I'll have to wait until someone comes home and, uh, and they'll move it for me. I'm sure one of my boys will. Um, yeah. So I had a, um, a meeting at the school um, with a couple of Toby's teacher because he's, uh, he's struggling a bit at the moment. I don't know, why is it kids um, think it's funny to... Oh, I don't know when they they know so much. Toby's such a sensitive soul, and I wish um, I'm not saying saying it's my fault is, um, but then I was the one that raised him. Um, you know, he's such a sensitive soul, and, and he hates injustice, and he hates um, um, you know when he gets blamed for something, and he gets really angry if he gets blamed for something he hasn't done because another kid's lied. Um, I had an incident last week where. Um, <clears throat> now bearing in mind this is one of his friends they were around his nan's house they were playing and they were around this kid's nan's house and this apparently this boy uh, he's an only child not allowed to have coke or coca-cola whatever you want to call it a coke um because it makes him gives him problems like whether it be behavior or i don't know anyway he's not allowed coke so he was standing there in his nan's kitchen and he, this boy had a bottle of coke so the boy's nan said to him um Oh, that's pretty. The boy's nan said to him, uh, what are you doing with that uh, rubbish? Um, and, he, and she said, oh, she said, what's that rubbish? And he said, it's Coke. And she said, well, um, why are you drinking that rubbish? And he said, Toby bought it for him, which was a total out and out lie. Toby didn't buy it for him. So his nan turned around and said to Toby, well, that just shows what a bad influence you are. And Toby then came home and he was fuming. He was so angry. And when Toby, stuff like that, it, Toby was so, so angry. See, look, I've got to be careful. He was so, so angry. Let's get rid of this fluffy stuff. Fiona sells this fluffy stuff in her shop in different colours as well. So it's beautiful. Um, yeah. If she hasn't got it in stock now, you have to go and she, it, you know, she gets stock, goes, comes and goes all the time. So you just need to check. Um, anyway, yeah. So, but, but apart from that, the fat fact, I mean, I would never dream of saying to a child, you know, if I thought, oh, I don't know, I just, 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 it totally blew me. So I sat there and I said to Toby, I said, oh, look, you know, don't worry about it because I don't want to make trouble. And then I thought, do you know what? No, why should I let this child, this little brat, get away with blaming Toby for something that he didn't do blatantly? Because, and I said to Toby, why didn't you, um, say look um no i didn't buy it you harry bought it you, you know what i mean and he said well he said i was put on the spot and he didn't want to sort of get his mate into trouble and I, and I said to him but he didn't mind getting you into trouble and standing there and let his nan say something horrible to you and he just sort of like looked at me and i thought sometimes i just i just think oh why didn't i sort of you know make you i don't want him to buy like this kitty into light but i just want him to be a bit tougher and I don't know, he is what he is, he's a gorgeous kid, he's so sensitive and I don't want to change him, I just find it really frustrating that he gets taken advantage of, I think that's what I'm saying. Anyway, so so I thought, no, I'm not putting up with it, so I phoned this boy's mum and I said, explained her the situation and said, look, you know, this is actually what happened and she, she actually knew that Harry had bought the Coke, she already knew, she said, oh, well, that was his decision to buy it and I'm thinking, he knows that he's not allowed and I'm thinking, but he's just blatantly lied that Toby did it. And she sort of said, oh, no, no, that's wrong. And, I, and she said, she said, I will speak to him. And I obviously I said to her about what Anand said. And I said, I was really annoyed about that, you know. And um, and she said, oh, no, that was not appropriate. And I will speak to my nan, my mum. She said, oh, she's 70 whatever years old. She should know better. And I thought, yeah. Do you, I mean, like, why do people... Oh, it just makes me so cross. Anyway. But, yeah, so 
I don't know. And then, and that, do you know what I mean? This boy is such a liar as well. Toby's not allowed to play with him anymore. He's such a liar because um, they were supposed to have gone swimming. And um, then this boy turned around and told Toby that there was um, no room in the car for him so he couldn't go. Okay, because his mum was going to take them. Which again was another lie. It was just, he just didn't want Toby to go. He wanted this other boy to go. So he lied. And then, then this other boy didn't want to leave Toby out. So he decided he would stay with Toby because he didn't, because he was a mate of his and didn't want to, because he felt bad, Toby being sort of like dumped on. So then, mum, the, she not me, when I phoned up to speak to his mum, she said, oh yeah, she said, I don't know what happened. She said, there's, you know, they sort of, they had a lift to um, swim in. So I decided to just take Harry on his own. And I'm thinking, well, no, it was because Harry lied and said there was no room in the car. Well, if he comes knocking on my door, I tell you, I shall speak to this little sweetheart. Because, um, oh, it makes me really cross. Okay, that's enough of me about ranting. I'm going to stick um, this lace on here. Um, and what I'm going to do, it's got a bit of a, like a frill there. So I'm going to try and get the frill to sort of um, stand up a little bit, you know, on the top towards the top of the hat that's a theory and this is quite stretchy so so it's quite good easy to put on so yes um again it's really hot close here today um i don't want to pull it too much because i don't want it to um stretch you know alter the brim um but obviously you know i want it to be able to go round Oh, I don't know, yeah, so he's not playing with this boy anymore. I said to Toby, he's not, you know what I mean, he's... They then went, this Sunday, they'd gone, they all went swimming again, and <clears throat> Toby had come walk through the door, and he was really upset, and I said, what, and he goes, oh, he's going, I'm done, I'm done, and I said, what's the matter, and he said, oh, and they were all teasing him, he was going, oh. They we had a discussion. There was three of them. There's all whenever there's, uh, like, one of them was this kiddie, whenever there's, like, an extra one in the mix, there's always... You know, two, two seems to get on better than three. Um, and this boy, because he's an only child, he likes everything his own way. I mean, I I um, took them into town once, and uh, unbeknownst to me, because my car's at the back, um, I think I might have mentioned this before in one of my videos, he accidentally left his bike outside the front path of my house. Um, and it was there the whole time we were gone. Look, I couldn't believe it was still there when we come back. And, and he's just sort of, and he said, oh, it doesn't matter. I got seven more. And I thought, oh, I just couldn't believe the fact that, uh, you know, oh, those parents are obviously bringing him up to know the value of uh, stuff. But I know they have trouble with him because she's told me. You know what I mean? His mum's told me. But, so anyway, there you go. So, yeah, we had a meeting at school, just sort of like try and see if there's any way, because Sean's, uh, Sean, Toby's finding it really difficult, um, you know, when they're teasing him to, um, you know, not get angry and ignore them, you know, because he's like sensitive. Oh, that was a bit extra bit there, I'll just chop it off. Yeah, so, um, they just want to try and, because I don't want him getting into trouble because he's getting angry and lashing out. Because basically that's what happened. There was a, as he was walking into the classroom, one of the little sweethearts um, stuck his foot out and tripped Toby up. As he was going in, of course, Toby, he got really angry because they just won't leave him alone. So he turned around and hit this kitty on the back of the, on his backpack. So Toby got a two day internal exclusion for physical contact. But, um, when I had the meeting, I and they told they read me because they all did they did statements and everything, blah blah blah. She sort of told me, and I said, Well, hang on a minute, you're missing out a very important part of this statement, which is why Toby got angry in the first place, was because they tripped him up as he was going in. And he obviously, do you know what I mean, reacted out of frustration because they tripped him up. So, you know, it's not, and he, this teacher said, Yeah, it's um, you know. They should, they, these kids should have sanctions as well if they've done something to, obviously, you know, to Toby. So, whether they do or not. I don't have any faith, to be fair, which is very sad. But anyway, so, that's what we've done so far. Oh, you know, pretty. So, what I'm going to try and do now is I want to add a big bow on the back of this hat. Um, 
So and I have got a bow maker, um, but I'm going to see whether I can do one. Actually, what I might do is I'm going to, um, if I, because I want it to hang down the back, okay? So if I, if I cut the length I want for the tail, or for, you know, I might do two tails, sort of like, so it going, it's going down the back like that, okay? So I'm going to do that, and then I shall have another tail, um, in the, a shorter one in the bow. So I'm just going to trim this into a point. Trim this one into a point. You can have it at a point or at, um, at an angle. Um, I quite like it in a point. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, so I'm just. So what you do, you just. So don't put it flat like that. You want to put it at an angle like that, and then just add. Um, just a, a bit of glue to just keep it at that angle. Okay, that way the bow sits it's better like that. Alright, and then I'm just going to add that to the back of here. Yeah, so, but his brothers are going to take him when his brother's at uni when he comes home. He's got five brothers, and the thing is with Toby, he's. Um, He's got five brothers, but they're all so much older than him. They're like, you know, in their 30s and 25 and 20 and 22. Um, so, you know what I mean? And there, one's getting married and he's busy sort of trying to organise that. And one's at uni and he's working really hard for that. The other one's at college. Do you know what I mean? So it's sort of me and Toby a lot. Anyway, so there we go. And obviously, because I, I can't go out, I'm not very good at going out. And I always feel so guilty. But... Um, there's not what I can do about it, other than, you know, support Toby. Okay, so I'm going to create a nice bow to go on the back of here. And I'm then I'm just going to continue to decorate because I want to add flowers and, you know, um, to this. All right, so I'm going to try and tie a bow. I have got a bow maker, but it's not here. It's in my... and I can't be bothered to go downstairs to get it. So I'm going to make one, which is just as nice. So I want it in proportion. So I'm just pulling it on the tails and then... Right, okay, so... And then I'm going to cut this one. And again, I'm going to make this into a point to match the other one. Do you know what? I might even go back and get some more of these little bonnets. They're so nice. Yeah. They're so cute. Right, okay. So I'm, then I'm going to add that to the back of there. So then what we've got is this like double bow feature going on or double tassel thing going on. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Now, with this satin ribbon, you will find that it's um, quite slippery, but once you've uh, glued it, um, it will stay in place. Okay, so there we go. I am going to add, um, I think, some sort of bling or something over there. Uh, look, there's a beautiful flower bling now. I might add. What else have I got? Oh, I've got bling. I've got the good. Oh, this one's a nice one in it. So, oh yes, look at that. Yeah. So I'm going to add that over that bow, and that will also help it stay in place. So, I wish my um, mice they haven't got they've got grown up they got she's got three grown up bride maids but no little um, bride maids. I would love to have uh, um, you know done these for 
the little bridesmaid. But there you go. You never know, I might even sell them. Look. I might even go back and get some more hats and do them. Okay, so there we go. So that's the little bridesmaid uh, bow, flower girl bow. Okay, so I'm going to continue. I've got lots of, uh, I mean, there's applique there. I don't want to add a flower to the top of here because that would just look silly. Um, right, let's get rid of that. I don't need that. Um, what have I got here? Some... Oh, yes, I, I want some trim to go around where I added, you know, just to sort of um, cover where the um, the ribbon matches the hat, but I don't know, oh no, I don't want to use that one, I don't think, that, oh that was better, I've got some of this, this is what I used on my fan actually, and it's got like a little pearl on it, so, and it will just finish off, oh yeah, so that's, I'm going to use that, so, uh, oh look, I've got some money, that's because I'm waiting for me Avon lady to come, so I want to pay me Avon lady, for my face cream. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, so like I say, I did a, um, I'll just uh, carry on talk. I know I change and waffle from one bit to the next. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I've, um, I did a, a like a, a waffle Monday video, which is now probably going to be a, a, um, a chit chat Tuesday. <laughs> I had so much trouble trying to get it to load up last night, I just couldn't get it to do it. Um, it's actually now loaded up to my YouTube channel, I just got to put, because I did some shout outs, so I just need to put the links, some links in and then, um, you know, it's ready to go live. And it's it's just, it's not a, oh, just bet with me, I um, don't know who that is, who is that? Oh it's, oh, it's Fiona, hang on a minute. Hello Fiona. Yeah. Yes, I am in the middle of doing a video at the minute, so I'll just. But I can still go on. All right. Okay. All right. Then. Bye. Hello. Hello. Say hello to everybody, Fiona. Oh, you are you filming? Right I now? am. Hello, everyone. There you go. <laughs> I've got Gemma here as well. Can she say? Yes, hello? she can. Say hello, Gemma. Hello. <laughs> Oh, is she good? I'm working at the same time. Oh, that's oh, that's it. You got them trained well. <laughs> I look. This Sorry, is. I'm just boiling my kettle. What are you doing? Oh, I'll show you what I'm making. You know, I did the little bridesmaid floor. Um, I did a video with a, a flower girl bag. When? Day before yesterday. I haven't had chance. For I know you. Now. I know you're busy. I know you're busy. I will look. So I did a flower girl basket, right? Yeah. Little wedding one. I'm just. I got this bonnet from my co-op. Hang on, sorry. <laughs> it's, Ray. It's, it's Ray. Who knew? Hello. He always phones when she's uh, filming. Hello. So funny. Say hello, Raymond. Please. <laughs> Mine. So even when you're filming, I know. That's what I just. I know. That's what I just said on the video. I said so. Every time I film. Yeah. He rings, doesn't he? Yeah. It's like he's, it's like he's got a sixth sense. I know, so he's done it while I'm on with you. Yeah. So yeah, so this is um, a, a, a bridesmaid bonnet for a flower girl. Oh, fantastic. So where are you going to go with that? What do you mean where am I going to go with it? You know where? It? No, it's a ch child's one. Oh. It's, a, it's a flower girl bonnet. I don't know. I've got the basket in this. I might even sell them. I don't know. I'm not, I don't need them. Where I, did you get that from? Have you made it? The hat. Yeah. I got it from the co-op, 80p. From where? Uh, my local supermarket co-op. Did you get me one while you were at it? No, but I'm going to go back and get more because they had some in different colours, but you could take the stuff off. There was like flowers and... So I'm going to go and get some more, but I'll get you some if you want some. Yes, please. Yeah, I will do. Right. So, um, yeah, so I thought, oh, that's... A, I was in there yesterday just getting... Actually, I was in there buying crap. I don't know. You know, like you go into a shop and I only went in for a loaf of bread. Oh, yeah, and you come out with a shop. And no loaf of bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. And I, I bought chocolate eclairs and... All the things you shouldn't do. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I need to stop, to be fair. So anyway, yeah. So, and these were there. They were sort of like, it was, these were Easter bonnets. Uh-huh. 
So, um, yeah, I'll just make the sort of thing and see what I'm doing. Is so, Tilda done then? No, Tilda's not done. Listen, I'm just getting back into the swing of it, so I will do her, I promise. She will be done by the time you get into your bedroom. You'll call a witness to that? Yes, yes, make a witness. I'm, I might be I might be slow, but I always get there in the end. All right, then. I'll let you off. Yeah. Because she's really feeling cold, rather bare, sat on the top of her. Yeah, she's naked. She is naked. Mm, not right, that. No, well, at least she looks better naked than I do, anyway. Well, well anybody looks better naked than I do. I was going to say, than me, I thought. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Would I do that? Would I? Yes. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> Anyway, I've still got some presents at all. Look, Mark. Oh, that's nice. I haven't even had a chance to... Oh, such a busy day yesterday and Sunday. And I haven't had a chance to watch your tagged videos. Um, you know, the ones you opened. I, oh, yeah. But I know one of the ladies posted in um, uh, Just Add Glue. She came third and her showed her tag and it was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. They, they really did well. We were absolutely thrilled with yeah. all the entrants. Yeah. They're, they're... Could, it was very hard to choose from them. I know. And ladies that said that they were uh, first time I think that's how oh. the talk is gotta be <laughs> oh, they, but see the thing is we're, we're always our own worst critics Fiona that's the thing yeah I know and for all those ladies that think they can't craft and don't craft because they think they can't craft yeah. get off your ass and craft yeah simple yeah. you can't craft actually I can't believe that uh -huh. <laughs> I'm only kidding I don't, I don't believe it do you suppose you want me to make tea Oh, I'd love a cup of coffee. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, Gemma's going to make me a drink. Oh, I'd first. love a cup of coffee. Well, yeah. she can make you one, but you'll be out. I know. I know. I'll know. i have to go down the stairs and make me one. Make myself one. Make me one. Make myself one. So, yes. So, So how many parts is this going to be? One? No, two? it's just one. It's not a big, big. And then after this one, I've got um, a pair of um, little satin gloves that I got from you, actually, just for a change, because I always mention in my videos that I always get everything from you, which is not a lie, I do. Yeah, Most All this this trim here, uh, where are you? There you are. That's your from you. Yes. The satin ribbon's not. That was from eBay. But the, um, the doilies is from the ones I recently just bought from you. Yes. And this, um, this trim, I think... I think it's with got the pearl in the middle. Not for me. Well, that's eBay then. That. Yeah. No, well, that's eBay then. So, but most of it I get from you. I will say. I know you do. Oh, um. Yeah. You're gonna want to know about your doilies, are you? Oh yeah. What's happened? I put. Why have they, you haven't sold my doilies, have you? I have. Yeah. Oh, Fiona. Because I've got you better ones. <sighs> And there's nothing wrong with the ones I've sold, but I've got my hands on, no, I've got my hands on two very huge post bags full of doilies. Have you? I don't know how you do it. Because I know people who... I know. We, we don't get anybody down here that sells doilies, Fiona. It drives me absolutely mad. She got in touch with Raymond yesterday and she said to him, she says, by the way, she says, do you want the mats as well as the doilies? And he went, yes. So, and there's some awesome, awesome, awesome things in there. Good, because I was looking, I'm thinking, where's my mats gone? Where's my mats gone? My comment's been deleted. Right, I'm going to do a video. <laughs> <laughs> I actually deleted it because I'd spelled something wrong on the intro. I know you didn't put the uh, money on. Amount. I didn't put the cost on either. Mm. But anyway, so, um, no, I, I, I know what I've got, so... Mm. No, that's fine. I just saved you some really special ones. No, I trust you, so I don't have a problem. I trust you. Yeah. Under yeah. general circumstances, I would never have sold anything underneath. Underneath what? The table? <laughs> you know what I mean? From under you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, I know, I know, I know. That's why I just said I trust you, so it's fine. And I didn't mean I've got them better. No, I've got, no. <laughs> I've got different ones. I'm the lady who bought the ones that I'm talking about. <laughs> She's got my doilies. I want my doilies. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. I, I don't. I'm a old bigger, so I'm just going to shut me gob. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know what? Oh, I tell you. Oh. I tell you what. It's so busy. Everyone that I got was, uh, they're all genuine vintage. Oh, really? Very. Lovely. Oh, cool. Yeah. So, Darlene Craig, if you're watching this video and you want your genuine vintage because you love it. Oh, I know. I've... I also found another one of the uh, very, very old 
uh, laces that I gave her last time, mm. and I found another one. I'm doing a swap with Darlene, and I haven't forgotten, honey. We keep we keep messaging backwards and forwards and saying, just let me know when we're ready, and then so yeah. you know what I mean. It's just, you know what is life and all what, that. What were you going to put onto that? Well, I'm not going to put. I put a, a gem that uh, like there. Sorry, I'm still here, guys. I'm still talking to you. I'm going to put a gem. I put that gem there. Um, That's the shop, isn't it? Yes, that's one of yours. That look awful. It looks yes, awful. it is. Yeah, it's one of yours. But I, and then at the side, I think I'm just going to put. Um, can I make a suggestion? Yeah, you can suggest all you like, or even the front. No, no you know them. Is she going to listen to me? <laughs> that's it doesn't mean she's going to listen to you. No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean I'm going to listen. But because I will. When I see something, I always see something else. Right. Go on. So then. the bling you've just put on, right? Yeah. Turn around. Would look more stunning if it had a lace surrounding what on behind it. it yes but then i don't want to hide the bow no you only need about an inch lace so like it's sat in a flower yes i do know what you're saying yeah like a ruffle yes yes it would it would you it doesn't do. need to be lace it could be ribbon if you've got a ruffled ribbon i but probably this would be stunning and yeah yeah, something sort of like a chawly, sort of that it makes it look flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, sure. Thing, thing. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, look, don't you think with a lace round that? Just underneath that's there. The bow. Hmm. You're a minimal person. I am. I'm very minimalist, me. Yes, but look, you can imagine it with a lace bow, a lace flower. Just underneath the um, there. That's so fair. I'm just, I'm just showing Fiona, guys. Yeah, yeah. Actually, a little bit of like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, or even some chawl or something. I've got, I have got, so I will. Um, I mean, Did I've got what about some of this stuff it? then. That's it, the white one. Yeah, That's the one all right, okay, beautiful. Yeah, I can do that. All right, and I'll, I'll do some of that. In fact, I might have an odd bit that I had because I used some of that, which will match the bag actually. I used some of that yesterday, so I'll use, I'll, I'll use a bit of that. You don't need to do it as a flower, Wendy. You could cut a strip. I just do it like a rosette. That's all. No, 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 no. Get, just chunk it up together in like a, in a row. Yeah. And just tool it one side and one side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was just to take that plainness off it. Yeah. It's not plain. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's not plain, but I'm on about the the bling. Yes, I will. I'll do that. I'm going to cut a little bit off and do it off a you bit. You don't have to do anything you don't want. I know I don't, but I know you're right anyway, so shut up. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a bit there. I'm going to cut a bit there. I've got to pull that bling off now. Number, but the price on them as well. Uh, sorry about that, lady. That's all right. I'm just sticking my tool onto. Oh. No, we had a customer who can't get an order. She can't put the order through, so she's oh. sent a private one. All right. I was telling you about this lady with the doilies. Right. So hang on a minute. So slide that, and then because I want to stick it on again, and then it be, and then like that. Yes. Right. Beautiful. Okay. Um, yes. Go on then. Doilies. Yeah. Um, she's been collecting for a long time from us. Oh. It's when she goes to auctions and that. Yeah. And um, anyway, so she said well, last time we went last week, we got a big sack full from her. <sighs> and she just says that if I want any more, she's got a load at home. So she had two sackfuls at home. Yeah, it says chocolate and... melt on a radiator. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just said that she'll just get as many as we need. Wow. Oh, I said that'll do. Yeah. There were some really beautiful ones in there, though. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. Cool. And they, yeah, they are getting harder to find. They are. Yeah. That, oh, it's they. It's they're very far in between down here. I don't get it, even like the charity shops don't do them, and if they do, they're like stupid money. Right, there you go. Well, so is that better? That's beautiful. There you go. Look, that's better. Bit of fluff. There we go. 
They just thought it was missing. It's not missing anything. No, no, no. It was just I know what you're saying. I sh yeah, yeah. It does look because it, it makes it look like a double bow as well. So yeah, yeah. So what are you? What else are you gonna put on it then? Um, I'm. I don't know. I've got some feathers. No, probably not feathers. Too good. Too old for little girl feathers. Um, I've got some of these like um, you know these just a. I don't want to put too much, but maybe just round the side of the. I might put some of these. Oh, yeah. Some of those. I don't want to put that on it because it's too much green. Yeah. I've got some of that. And then some pearl thingies. I won't put that on. That's not girlish. What? That stringy thing. But yeah. And then I'll find some of those long. Hiya. You know? uh, I'm back. I kicked Fiona off because I wanted to carry, finish my film. <laughs> I couldn't concentrate. No, bless her. Right. Okay. So. Um. Well, yeah, I've added that um, bit of tool there, as suggested by Fiona, bless her, and it does look nicer. So, but what I'm going to do, I've got some like, um, I've got these little flower things here, but they're too big, and I'm like, I'm going to cut off the top layer, and I'm going to I might add a little pearl or a. Um, some bling or something, a little pearl bead, I think, if I can find white ones in the middle. Um, yeah, but up to, just to finish off round here, the back, which is, the back is really the focal point, to be fair. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna add this uh, feather. I wasn't going to add a feather, but I thought, well, why not? So I'm going to add this feather, because I want it to match the basket that I made, and the basket's got a feather in it. So I'm adding this feather behind this ribbon okay like that to the back and then I'm going to add some um, Fiona suggested um, like pearl ones but the basket I made has got these ones in them so I'm going to use those ones sorry Fiona but uh, I think it would if it wouldn't match the basket if I used um, you know didn't match and I want it to match the basket Okay, I'm going to stick one the other side. And then I'm going to add some little white satin flowers as well. Okay, so I've got these little satin flowers. So I'm going to just add some of those. Just poke them in. The end. There we go. Where the, where the, just behind the um, where the blink is, right across the top of there. So I'm just going to do that. So, uh, what have we got? We got. Do it too low, otherwise the uh, it'll all come apart. So I push that down, and then um. String, blue string, loads of it, go away. 
Ouais. Mm. Okay. So that's what we've got at the back. Okay. Which um, sort of matches the basket. And so now I'm going to cut these. Um, off. I don't want to ruin the bottom bit, but I do want them off. But there is um, a very small thread, so if I can cut just the thread, then I can. Because uh, I still want to be able to use the top bit on, say, another project. Um, there we go, see? So I can still use that part. And then I've got these little flowers which I'm going to add around the hat. So I want, let's have a look. So say, uh, one, maybe, a look, I don't know how many I've got. I've got one, two, one, two, three, I've got four. I've got, what have I got? I thought I'd more than that. I think there'll have to be four then. That's fine. So just snip them off. Because um, I want, I, to be honest, I want the focal point to be the where the ribbons are at the back of the hat. Um, this is so cute. And then, and then after this video, I've got I'm going to do a little video where I'm going to do a little matching pair of uh, um, flower girl gloves as well to go with this. There we go. So that's those there off. Okay, so one, two, three, and there's that one there. So I just want to make sure I've got no more of those. And that bag's empty, so there's no more. Nope, and then. Um, I didn't want to use do it. Oh, I could use those for the middle, couldn't I? There's like a little bling string. A blink. Oh, yes, there. I'll use those. Oh. Just found those. Yes. Okay. So, um, so that's the back. So I want to do them so they're sort of on that side, on that side. Um, one there, and one there. I think. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do, I think, to make it easier, I'm going to stick these little bling things on. These little bling. I'm going to stick them on before, um, and that way it will be, because instead of trying to do it while they're actually on the hat, so I'm going to do that. There we go, see? But it's blinky. So cute! And also it helps to uh, flatten it out. And you only need a little bit of glue just to go into the middle. Right. Make sure one side's a bit shinier than the other. Oh, that's what I've got. I've got um, glue string stuck to my Fingers. There we go. And then one more. Oh, get off. Driving me nuts. I cut four of them. Where's the other one gone? Oh, did I only cut three? I obviously can't. Oh, there it is. I knew I cut four. Oh, nope, you can't count. There we go. How beautiful. Okay. So I just want to make sure that if I do it from the back. Oh, glue strings. If I do it from the back, then I can get uh, make sure that they're we want to get them looking fairly 
um, uniform as it were. So I'm going to add one there. Okay, and then the other one this side. Try not to catch the feather because feathers and glue string or glue or hot glue are oh, they are a nightmare. Okay. Oh that's pretty. Yeah, so that's pretty. And then I'll just add these two. One there, one there, and then maybe I might just add that one, which is a bit different there, because I've only got one of those. Okay, so put that there. I think a little flower girl walking down behind the bride with this hat and the little basket and the little gloves would be absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. Blue. Yep, absolutely adorable. So pretty. I think it would look stunning. And I think a little flower girl would love to be wearing one of these hats. I still didn't get it in the right place, did I? There we go. So it's not going to show. It was literally. There we go. There we go. So we've got those little flowers and bling all the way around there and then there. Um, now it has got an elasticated strap. Now I could do the option of taking that strap off and gluing some ribbon so they could tie it under the, um, tie the, the bow underneath, you know, the hat. But I think what I might do is um, would that look nice if I used or would it be too much um, if I had like you know white ribbon going down and they could tie it underneath you know underneath the hat um, so they'd also have a bow at the front of their head as well um, no, I think I'll leave it for now. I can always add one after if so one, one so wanted it. Um, okay, I think that's it for now because um, I don't want to uh, overdo it. I think it's absolutely a gorgeous, beautiful little hat with. Done in. So there we go. It's our little flower girl hat. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back soon to do the gloves. Bye.